Electroadhesives are used for wall climbing robots as well as robotic grippers and today I'm going to show how I made one using some transparency sheets, a DC to DC converter, um, some aluminum foil, and then scotch tape. I took two pieces of the transparency and then taped them together side by side. I rolled out the aluminum foil and cut out two electrodes. Each of these were smaller than one of the transparency sheets except for a tab that stuck out and I'll use the tab to connect the electrodes to the circuit. Next I took out the scotch tape and laid it over the electrodes and I just went row by row until the entire thing was covered with scotch tape. I cut off the excess tape and then my electroadhesive pad was finished. So here's a closer look at the DC to DC transformer that I'm using. I'll link this one below. The input is 0 to 5 volts and the output is 0 to 6,000 volts. The max current though is pretty low so I shouldn't die, but don't try this at home. Here it is hooked up to two AA batteries. I've got my transformer here, a little resistor, this is just in case I short circuit it, and then the electrodes just get connected to the output of that DC to DC transformer. And here's my first test on my plywood workbench. It's pretty cool, it makes a sizzle sound, which I think is the air ionizing, and it does indeed stick to my workbench. So then of course I had to try to go stick it to different things. First I tried the cement wall in my basement, but that was a really rough surface and it didn't really work on that. Then I tried the plastic cover of my 3D printer, and that also didn't work. And a big chunk of styrofoam was also a no-go. So I went upstairs and tried it on the drywall. Hey, sticks to drywall. Success! Uh, so it sticks to drywall pretty well, and this is only running on 3 volts input instead of 5, so it's not even at the full 6,000 volts, and it'll improve when I increase the voltage. And I'm just surprised that something as advanced seeming as this is so easy to do at home. 